The 2023 Visionary Principal of the Year Elementary Level and the New Jersey Representative of the NAESP National Principal of the Year Award is Carlos Gramada. Carlos Gramada is the principal of Hillside Elementary School in Livingston, where he focuses on developing core values, the six pillars of character. There's nothing um, that I take greater pride in in having a positive school uh, climate and and having um, an amazing culture. I mean, it makes you happy when you walk in and it screams character ed and it's, it's inviting and it's nurturing. And all, I have people all the time telling me that you walk in here and you just feel happy and welcome. <laughs> You know, so it's it's all throughout our school. Everything we do, we, we yeah, have it's respect amazing. way. We, we have streets. Um, yeah, the hallways are street things. Yes, yeah. the hallways are all named for all the yeah. pillars of character. Um, so it's everywhere you turn. I think uh, for me and for the whole district, uh, we want to be addressing the whole child, not just academically, but um, character and uh, making sure that that they're growing socially and emotionally as well as academically. We have a saying at our house um, because both my kids admire him so much that if especially my fifth grader, sometimes, you know, they push back a little. And if he'll come home and say, you know, this happened at recess, we'll always say, what would Mr. Gramada say if he was standing behind you and saw that? He's kind of like our guide of like, what would he think? You know, would he think that's okay to do? And immediately that just registers with them because they look up to him and they wouldn't want to disappoint. And they talk about character here and all the pillars. And that just clicks like, and it doesn't come from he's going to be reprimanded. It's like, yes, we talk about kindness. We talk about, you know, being a good citizen. He is also proud to celebrate the diversity of the district. I've always thought it was it was important for the school to reflect the school community it serves. And so um, a couple of years back, we really made an effort to really reflect um, our school community, and it is diverse, you know, and, and, and the population continues to grow in a way that um, enhances that diversity. So with the PTA, we, we, we've worked together to uh, make sure that we highlight the diversity. I think diversity uh, gives us an opportunity to, you know, look and learn into other cultures, other how people behave or, you know, like what their culture teaches you. So we have a committee for it, actually, a cultural diversity committee, wherein we celebrate all the uh, festivals from like Diwali, Eid, Pride. So what we have is we call this, we call it multicultural night. We come and set up tables and we set up, we set, and each table has, has a table about where, where they're from, like their country. Like, let's say if someone's from Japan, Japan, They'll have a they'll have a Japan thing and show all the cultures like the food that they make and like the, the all the all the traditions that they have. What I have found with my students because I teach English language learners, there's so many diverse populations, and yeah. with their holiday celebrations, there's actually more things that we share that are the same than then we have differences. And um, I think that's a common thread. And I think that's what the equity committee has tried to um, put out there that we really do a lot of our holidays do have a lot of similarities. You know, they're based on celebrating with friends and family, um, having really good food, um, music. Sometimes a lot of lights are involved in a, a lot of the winter celebrations that we have, no matter what uh, religious or ethnic background you may have. You just see that it not only benefits those kids whose celebration is coming up that month because they get to tell their friends, like, this is what we do. This is what we eat. This is how we dress for our festivities. Our kids who, you know, are on the other end, they're learning. And you start realizing we're not that different after all. For Chinese New Year, he put together a whole assembly where everyone could do a dragon dance and talk about um, the culture in Chinese New Year. And also for Ramadan, they decorated outside at the office. They decorated it with decorations that you would usually do on each holiday. Um, if there's one thing I've learned in this process is that parents and families are very proud of who they are and they want to share that with the school. I do remember learning about, I'm pretty sure it was Diwali, um, and like close to winter, they set off, um, they set up like candles because when it's winter, the nights get longer. So that's why most of the holidays close to that are about light. Mr. Gramada's impact on Hillside Elementary has been extraordinary. 
leaving an indelible mark on the entire community. If I had no home, I want this to be my home. I want this to be my home because Mr. Gramada like, is like the greatest person in like the world. He's very humble. Um, and when he got this recognition of this award, he said, I only got this because of all of you. He's the reason that Hillside is what it is. He's the reason that people want to come through our door. He's the reason that, you know, other teachers in the district say that they want to work at Hillside. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, other parents talk mm -hmm. about, you know, their kids coming here. And it's because of what he's done to our mm -hmm. school, you know, and what he's made it. I don't even think he's going to leave us because he loves everybody at the school. Everyone. Teachers love. Students love. Staff love. Himself love. If you love children and you want to make schools a better place for them, you should be a school principal. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> right. It does come with challenges. But if you really want to make a difference in a, in, a, in a really big way for kids and for staff, you know, be a school principal. I should just